Welcome, Lynn, Lynn Pichard. Thank you, Natalie. So, um, yeah, I'm from the, recently from the Brookhaven National Lab uh, in the Computational Science uh, Initiative Directorate at the Center for Data-Driven Discovery, headed by uh, Kirsten Cleese Van Dam. Uh, and my talk is going to be about the use of provenance as a diagnostic tool for workflow performance evaluation and optimization. And this is also about capturing the whole tale of computational um, research that Derek just uh, discussed. Uh, this, uh, there are several uh, large uh, DOE projects. Um, the main project we are a part of is uh, uh, the CODAR project, and uh, Ian uh, is a PI of that. Uh, we're also uh, doing um, collaborations with Rutgers, uh, with Alessio Andrus and Shantanu Jha, and with PNNL for uh, another um, project that is also contributing to this uh, with Eric Stefan, Todd, Todd Elsetagen, and Bibi Raju. So um, a scientific workflow is a, a sequence of repeatable tasks used to organize, describe, manage, and share complex scientific code for uh, in silico experiments. So in uh, HPC uh, ecosystems, uh, workflows are extremely complex. They utilize shared resources and mixed programming models. Uh, the diagram on the left shows you an abstract of a workflow and underneath uh, various components of a, the workflow instance when it runs on the computing architecture, which you have on the right hand side at the bottom, uh, where you have like underlying um, shared systems, system software, the workflows, and we have um, the use of uh, shared resources introduce uh, additional uh, complexities. Uh, so let's see, next one. So some definitions, some of them you're uh, very familiar with. Uh, provenance in computer science is a record that describes the people, institutions, entities, and activities involved in producing, influencing, uh, or delivering a piece of data. And what we are looking at is, um, we are looking at capturing the provenance of performance, as was actually uh, described in earlier talk by um, Yarek and, uh, and Mike Hildreth this morning, uh, the um, computational science um, research provenance and workflows are extremely complex. <coughs> and uh, in this talk, we're only, or in this, we're only uh, currently looking at the provenance of performance metrics. So we're not trying to replicate uh, the results of the data. This is far beyond uh, the scope of the project will be for the future. So the performance metrics, which is always a key in uh, metrics in computer science, is for the, uh, the in our research are the measurements um, of running workflows on uh, system resources. And the performance of each individual component can affect the overall uh, performance of a workflow. So where can we use provenance? Um, so there are different kinds of reproducibility. Uh, for produce, uh, pro reproducibility can, uh, means that you can provide sufficient information to enable others to reproduce a, a specific scientific results. And here we're only talking about execution repro reproducibility and re reproducibility of the performance, which is what we don't have. Uh, performance analysis captures and correlates uh, provenance and metrics data from empirical studies on the performance of software and workflows <coughs> during either a development phase or in, or in different computational environments. So during a development phase is when you have a researcher um, working on, on their code, a scientist working on developing new pieces of code, and they want to know um, they want to optimize this, obviously, for their um, the current architecture they might be using, and uh, they want to find out if this new code that they're producing or this new part um, is actually um, is performing as well as the previous one. I just got a, a notice saying the battery is at ten percent on this machine. <laughs> So there are uh, two principled approaches to uh, capturing provenance. One is a listener's approach where you capture the provenance messages or they are created by the system 
our workflow application and you have the harvester which is extracting provenance for information from files and data streams and converting these um, into uh, provenance. Provenance uh, relates the changes in performance to changes in software and system. And this is how we define provenance for high performance computing uh, system and scientific codes. Uh, this, um, so we have performance metrics, which are common performance metrics, are really hard to get already, but there are a lot of, of, of systems and software that do that. Uh, so start and end time, number of calls, I.O. read and write, memory usage, communication time, interconnect performance. But you also have provenance characteristics, such as application names, version control, parameters, you have workflows, you have names and versions, input data, use case, host names, architectures, and the system software stack. Uh, this uh, work is actually published uh, at um, Supercomputing in 2015 with a reference um, below. Uh, and so far we're in, um, the project is starting, so we're not looking yet at the um, computing environment. There's too many uh, parameters, too many things to capture, and we don't necessarily have the permissions to do that. So we're not looking there. So uh, no single performance tool currently provide all that is required for measuring the performance of workflows. So these diagrams, uh, these figures, comes, uh, are data that have been um, uh, produced by um, performance tools that we use in the project, uh, specifically uh, SCORE-P and POW. And these are the text files that they produce. The top is the trace, uh, the middle part is the profile of the application, and the bottom is a, a visualization of the uh, trace files and what you see here on the top are like the different location in the code it's called the code regions of where a particular uh, process is being executed uh, you have the enter and leave so you have with a timestamp so that's going to give you the execution time and you have the location on which node it was executed and here we know it's like there's a four core of four nodes this is zero one two three and the middle part gives you uh, additional um, information, which is the, um, uh, the profile. And you, at the end, you have like the call tree, which is how the different processes go one after the other. So provenance is missing from this information. Thank you. Um, in particular, the application name, the start time, version control of which application we have been running, the time allocated. Uh, so this is one particular application that we have been use, uh, using uh, and the provenance is missing. So it's, we're gonna want to bring this back on. Our use case uh, in terms of workflow, we have several use cases and that's the most difficult one and um, because it's a hybrid uh, system. There is unexplained variability in molecular dynamics work for performance. And this is work done at uh, uh, Rutgers University um, where different uh, workflows uh, for the molecular dynamics uh, produce um, different type of performance. And this is unexplained even though uh, there's like a lot of constraints already on all the environment. Uh, so I refer you to the, uh, so what we should see typically is like, for instance, the green blob like green blob, blue and red at different um, runs on the uh, uh, 8, 16 and 32 nodes. But there's like really um, about 100, uh, yeah, 100 seconds of variation between the same runs. And they uh, currently they do not explain that. So this is why we're trying, we're looking at performance. This is our use case. We're looking at the provenance of running these workflows in order to be able to find a clue as to where this is coming from. And you have the uh, website here. Uh, our framework is called Timbuco, which I can't pronounce. And <laughs> it's, 
It means origin, source, beginning, derivation, starting point. I've also found uh, ancestors and grandparents, and it's what we take to be Swahili for provenance. So provenance of workflow performance works towards reproducibility. Um, any questions? I have a shameless plug in at the end. We have a conference <laughs> New York Scientific Data Summit. One page abstract due May 16. Even though it says May 2nd on the website currently, it's May 16th. It's going to be a okay. Do we have questions for Lynn? Anyone? And always time during the break to ask um, more questions one on one if you see things in the talk that you're curious for or want to know more about the New York Scientific Data Summit and the um, subvention deadline again is. May 16. For one page, for oh, the abstract. Way. After that, so there's for later papers, July. Thank you so much, Lynn. We appreciate it.